MMOs or massively multiplayer online gaming is nothing new. I've been playing online games since my early youth, like 10 to 12 years old, and a lot of games from that time period, saying about 2010, 2011, I still hold in a high nostalgic regard, like games like Pop Tropica. That game slapped. Then there were other games like Wizard 101, World of Warcraft, but to me, one game in particular is a higher value to me personally, and that would be Adventure Quest Worlds or AQ Worlds. I made my account in 2014 and I actively played for five, maybe six years. And then after that, I would only log in every year because I was afraid of my account being deleted or I'd get on just to check things, get that yearly bonus. This game was incredible. I was 14 years old and this game pretty much allowed me to be whatever I wanted to be. And this was the time period I had just discovered what Dungeons and Dragons was. And I started playing that, you know, in the real world. And this was the online equivalent to that. You could be whatever class type you wanted. You could design your character however you felt. The weapons were cool. The classes were cool. The monsters were cool. The storyline was cool. And this was really the first MMO that got me addicted and I was playing all the time. I mean, if I was at home, I was at family's house, I was trying to find some computer so I could play AQ Worlds. It even got to the point that I was going to school and convincing friends to play this game with me on school computers. Now, is AQ Worlds the best MMO out there? No, it's it's got its flaws. Sometimes the clicking for moving your characters doesn't work. Sometimes the quests they freak out, you can't actually finish them. But for what it was at that time and for, you know, how long I played it, it's it's probably my favorite. It really is. No other MMO game that I've ever played gave me the same satisfaction that I got from this game. One thing that has always impressed me with Adventure Quest Worlds and the development team behind it is that they've always done weekly updates to the game. Now for any game, that's an impressive task. But for this game, whether it's cosmetics or class updates or new stories, every week they're adding something. And they're still doing that. This game had such a hold on me in my youth that I think it was maybe my 15th birthday. I had just gotten a little bit of pocket cash. And I go to Toys R Us and I bought the Paladin High Lord Collector's Edition Ultimate Statue Toy that came with, you know, a bunch of in game credits. And it gave you this special in game class called Paladin High Lord. Now, some people say, ah, well, that's cheating, whatever. No, no. I just bought something cool and I got something cool with it. This class was so much fun to play and it had a unique feature that I really enjoy and that I've adapted into my D&D games where this Paladin High Lord gets stronger with party members. So on his own, he's strong, but he has this ability for insane growth when he has a party to protect and to fight with. And to me, that was a really cool feature. Playing it now... And I don't know if it's just the downside of getting older. Uh, it's it's not as fun. And there's a lot of bug issues. Sometimes when you click, you just don't move. And it's a, it's a little disappointing. I don't think the game's been able to keep up with the growth of technology. And, you know, how other games look now. But lucky for us, well, lucky if you want to view it that way. Adventure Quest Worlds Infinity is where they're taking the original base game, fully rebuilding it inside of Unity, and hopefully this will give the game a huge boost to be better. Should run smoother, things should look better, and from what they've posted on the website, they're literally rebuilding all the weapons, all the gameplay, all the mechanics to make this game more modern. And honestly, to me, that's very exciting. I'm looking forward to this, I will play this, and I hope 
I hope, and it won't be their fault, but I hope this can capture that same feeling I got when I used to play this. A lot of what I do today when I do D&D games, Dungeons and Dragons games, I take inspiration from this game. This game helped contribute to my love of storytelling and being able to tell that story in a immersive and playable way. Now one funny story about Adventure Quest Worlds is when I was making this account, I was very young and it said, character creation, name your character. And a little prompt popped up and it said, do not use your real name. And young me took that as, if I can't use my name, I'll use somebody else's name. So I named my character Zach2525. Now, at the time, I thought Zach was a cool name. And this was before I came up with any sort of gamer tag or, you know, like Galactic Spoon that I used for everything after that. Now this video, this is my 100th video on YouTube. I've been posting on YouTube for, I think, eight or nine years now, and I've gone through different types of content. I've done, uh, I used to do Happy Will videos. I did um, lo-fi content for a while. Then I did Minecraft gameplay. And now I do um, deep dives into game culture. I don't know what else to call it. And for my 100th video, I wanted to do a game that really meant a lot to me growing up. Adventure Quest Worlds was a game that I played with friends, I played with family, I had my first online girlfriend <laughs> through this game. Um, it really meant a lot to me growing up, and I'm glad to see that it's not a dead game, that it's got a potential future, and I'm really happy to have made this video and to maybe bring more love and support to a game that I hold very dear to me. This game's impacted me in a bunch of different ways. It's inspired me through um, storytelling, through Dungeons and Dragons, and it was just there for me growing up. It's hard to believe that I've given 10 years to a game. That's crazy, that's a decade. And as time goes on, I'm gonna keep logging in, even if it's just to make sure my account was not deleted. So to AQ Worlds, thank you for existing and thank you for being a part of my childhood. And to everyone watching this video, thank you for your support. Um, and this was my 100th video. I got 100 more planned. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I've got a couple more things planned up. I'm going to dive into other games from my youth. And if that's something that interests you, go ahead and follow me on this journey. I have no consistent upload time, but I promise things will be uploaded.